the God of Mischief is given a spectacular new mission at the conclusion of Loki Season 2, but it raises questions about Tom Hiddleston's character's future in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Loki spends a significant portion of the second season finale attempting to repair the TVA's temporal loom, but he who remains ultimately informs him that it is unfixable because it was created solely to safeguard the sacred timeline. Loki takes the throne in the center of the multiverse by destroying the loom and controlling the branches out of a desire to give his companions a chance at life. In the last scene of the second season of Loki, Loki is shown by himself standing amidst all the branches of the multiverse, keeping them all connected so that people can exercise their free will and live their lives as they see fit throughout time and space. At the conclusion of Loki season 2, even though Loki is still alive and healthy, his narrative has a sense of closure that raises the possibility that he may make a comeback to the MCU. Sadly, neither the God of Mischief's MCU destiny nor a prospective Loki Season 3 appear to have a bright future. Marvel has not verified if Loki will make a comeback. Loki Season 2 is announced by the conclusion of Loki Season 1. However, there has been no confirmation of Loki Season 3, thus it's uncertain if it will happen. It's not confirmed yet, but it's plausible that Loki may make a cameo in Avengers, The Kang Dynasty or Avengers, Secret Wars, two of the next Avengers films. Though a younger Loki joining the Young Avengers might be one avenue for a variation of Loki to reappear in a future MCU movie, Hiddleston's portrayal of the character may end with the season 2 finale. However, since anything can happen in the realm of superheroes and comic books, Marvel may be planning another ruse to bring Loki back. Marvel hasn't yet stated whether or when Loki will make a comeback, though. Why it makes sense for Loki to have a final chapter. It seems fitting that Loki's endgame would be an eternal lifespan as a god rather than death because he has repeatedly cheated on death in the MCU. From pretending to be dead in Thor, the Dark World to utilizing the Tesseract to elude arrest and ultimately die in Avengers, Infinity War. Not only an infinite existence, but a solitary one. Since his initial appearance in the first Thor film, Loki's only desire has been to be liked and he thought that being a monarch was the best way to achieve this. In the second season conclusion of Loki, he gets the reign of his dreams, albeit perhaps not the love he truly wanted. Rather, Loki's selflessness in serving as the multiverse's guardian symbolizes his affection for his companions. Loki states in Loki Season 2, Episode 5, that he wants his friends and to not be alone. However, at the conclusion, he comes to the realization that he cannot have both his friends and rescue them, so he chooses to save them. This demonstrates how much Loki has changed as a persona, from the conceited as guardian prince to the deity who gave up his bliss to win his allies' devotion. Loki's sacrifice in Avengers, and game is comparable to Iron Man's, with the exception that Loki survives. Therefore, even if Loki is still alive and has the potential to make a comeback in the MCU, the season 2 conclusion of Loki does provide him with a fitting swan song if it is his last appearance. Thanks for watching, and if you're new to channel subscribe and click the bell, so you don't miss out latest videos of Media Breakdown.